Assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we are going to discuss about type of conjugation one of the main concept in organic chemistry that every pharmacy and chemistry student must know type of conjugation is also known as no bond no bond resonance or baker and nathan effect the history is this term first introduced in 1939 on the basis of the baker and nathan effect now let me explain you what is baker and nathan effect this is the order of activity cannot be explained solely by inductive effect means uh, as we previously discussed inductive effect the chemistry is not about only inductive effect okay so the type of conjugation where delocalization of sigma bond takes place movement of sigma electrons through the adjacent pi system or carbo or carbocation is hyperconjugation now let me explain some example hyperconjugation in propene now you can see the movement of the the electron or the sigma electron from the carbon hydrogen bonds towards this carbon carbon double bond and making it double bond okay and the double bond that is already present in the first example is moving towards the carbon atom getting its negative charge hyper conjugation in methyl carbonium ion now you can see example there are three chances there are three possibilities that ethyl carbonium ion can be contributed in hyperconjugation so now you can see between the, in this in the second example there is no bond between carbon and hydrogen in actual that's why it is called as no bond resonance Now let's discuss about type of hyperconjugation. There are basically two types of hyperconjugation. One is sacrificial hyperconjugation, and second is isovalent hyperconjugation. Sacrificial hyperconjugation. Sacrificial hyperconjugation. That hyperconjugation that is occurred or that present in neutral or ground state is called sacrificial hyperconjugation. Consider the example of this methyl benzene or toluene. this is the example of sacrificial hyperconjugation like high like high, like how the sigma bonds are moving along the system in ch3 how this bond delocalizes and how the delocalization of the benzene ring occurs and which is a condition where the negative and positive charge get displaced this is termed as sacrificial hyperconjugation second one is the isovalent hyperconjugation it is that type of hyperconjugation that involves carbonium ions and in free radicals okay so whenever there is a carbonium ion a carbonium ion is that carbon ion that contain positive charge applications of hyperconjugation there are certain application of hyperconjugation the first one is effect on bond length consider methyl acetylene propyne in this example that is written in the yellow color how sigma bonds move toward the carbon atom and the bond that is present between carbon carbon move towards over carbon and getting it negative charge so effect on what is the effect of bond length observe bond length in between ch3 and c is 1.46 angstrom which is shorter than the normal carbon carbon bond that is 1.54 this is because partial double bond creation okay as seen in the example the second application of hyperconjugation is stability of the compound hyperconjugation gives stability to molecule as hyperconjugation provides contributing structure so it stabilizes the compound therefore therefore more the number of the contributing structure more stable would be the compound here is the reactivity or uh, stability of compound order the three butyl carbonium ion stabilize by non carbonium ion so it is it gives stability of the compound by nine different ways the third one is activating effect for substitution reactions
Now again consider the example of CH3 and benzene that how the sigma electrons are delocalized over entire benzene ring and ultimately it gives negative charge over certain positions. So as the alkyl groups directs the incoming electron pair at ortho and para position that is shown that is clearly shown by the effect of hyperconjugation. So Number four application is increased dipole moment. Dipole moment is actually a measurement of polarity within a molecule. The, ma the large uh, the large increase in dipole moment of 114-111 trichloroethane as compared to trichloromethane can be attributed by hyperconjugation. Now you can see the example in methane as well as trichloromethane. So there is a polarity difference between these two molecules. I hope this makes sense. Please kindly subscribe our channel. Hope you will like this content.